Hello! What foe is an amazing temple? Why? Let's find out why! We visited Bangkok, Thailand a month ago and um, we visited Wat Po which is not too far from the Grand Palace. Grand Palace is the most visited temple. We actually didn't get to go there but maybe it's about a half a mile from that palace. So if you're in the area, don't forget to visit Wat Po because you will not regret it. Wat Pho is amazing, awesome temple because it features the reclining Buddha. The reclining Buddha is huge, it's enormous, it's gigantic, and it's covered with gold leaf. It's about 46 meters long, uh, 15 meters tall, and the soles of the feet are very big as well it's about five meters long so to enter the pal the temple you have to pay 100 baht and that includes a free bottled water you will thank them for this bottled water because when you go there and it's hot and humid like we did you will chug this bottle in a few seconds so another thing to keep in mind is when you enter the temple you have to cover your shoulders and also no skin showing above the knee so there are some things you can borrow to use when you go enter the temple but everybody's using it. it's up to you um but it's it's um just wanna um give you a tip when you're going you also it's also um better if you have shoes that are easily removable especially if you're visiting temples because you have to remove your shoes before you can enter these temples remove your shoes make sure you have covered shoulders and no skin above the knees so long pants they sell all these elephant um, pants that are 100 baht a piece which is about three dollars because the exchange is about 30 33 some but per dollar so it's about three dollars for the pants and you're gonna see the pants people are wearing them everywhere and they're everywhere to night markets everywhere you go um the reclining buddha um illustrates the passing of the buddha into nirvana also another thing you can buy when you buy your entrance fee is the coins, a bowl, a bowl of coins for 20 baht. So there's the reclining Buddha. After you pass the reclining Buddha around the uh, feet, by the way the soles of the feet has the uh, mother of pearl inlays in them. Um, this features the um, favorable characteristics of the Buddha which is called Laksanas so that's another um, important thing to note when you visit go around there and so on the other side of the reclining Buddha you will see 108 bowls lined up against the wall they're bronze bowls and you can drop the coins that you bought and it's supposed to bring good luck and even if you didn't get your wishes from dropping those coins just keep in mind that the coins help the uh, monks in the temple so they're put to good use and after visiting the uh, reclining Buddha you can go to the ground you can see the 91 chatties or stupas stupas are beautiful they're covered with ceramic tiles um, with flowers on them also the um, some Buddhas too you can see in lotus position um, by the way the 108 bowls 108 
is very significant. It's uh, so it's the positive actions and symbols that led the Buddha to perfection. So that's what it means. Also, the Wat Po is known as the largest and oldest university. They're known for their literature, science, medicine, and it also has the two pavilions for massages. So if you want to get massage, this is a good place to get it. After a long day of walking, then you can come to this place and it's like you've achieved perfection. And um, what else can I tell you about it? Just watch the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, babe.